We're going to conduct a runoff experiment and here we have a setup where we have three different trays um, like it's shown on the website we have a metal tray, a painting tray with the liner and all of these three are the same thing. We also have sod in two of them and we have a tile that is going to represent the cement on the street. We also have this mesh that is going to hold any big particles of dirt from falling into our collection, uh, water collection site over here. We've also placed a couple figures representing all the agriculture that happens here in Kansas, a couple trees as well. Um, so we have crushed three pellets of the fertilizer with, with a hammer and a foil, a piece of foil. And we have sprinkled the same amount into both pieces of grass. Now this one, we're going to let it sit for an hour with the fertilizer on it to show how much does the uh, grass absorb the fertilizer. And on this one, we're going to apply water to it in just a minute to show how much is not absorbed by it um, right after a storm. Therefore, we'll be demonstrating that applying fertilizer to our lawn or our agricultural fields is not uh, very beneficial to the environment when applying it right before a storm. We have a measuring cup and we're going to go ahead and measure two cups of water, regular tap water. And two, and we're going to use this children's plant water to um, simulate uh, regular rain. We're going to make sure that we cover the whole grass pad. And notice how the water is already coming out of the grass pad. So we're going to let that sit for a couple minutes until all of the water has come out with the nutrients and we'll be right back.